The city of Breckenridge was host to an early morning visitor at the intersection of Walker Street and Breckenridge Avenue. A local resident capturing some exclusive video of a beaver just outside First National Bank. Odd time of day to be well, outside the bank. Yeah. Kate has Noah McKinney reporting on this chance encounter and follows up with city officials to find out why this paddle tailed pedestrian might have been wandering so far from home. So I was just coming home. I got here last night about 440. And I pulled up to the traffic light right behind you. At first I thought it was a dog right there next to the curb. And then I saw its tail and realized it was a beaver. Transport shipper Stephen Harris drives all across America for a living, but it's what he caught on video in his own hometown that caught him by surprise. What are you doing out here, huh? What was a beaver doing in downtown Breckenridge early in the morning with no one else around to see? Do you think that he appeared to be obeying traffic laws? Well, he was on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> the wrong side of the road and the wrong side of the law. And he's lucky I wasn't in my black and white or I would have pulled him over. Breckenridge mayor and former policeman Bob Sims says this rodent's flagrant disregard for safety won't be taken lightly. Any idea if he'll be facing any legal ramifications for this? Well, if I can find him, I'll, I'll call the chief over there. It's in the city limits. We'll let him handle that. But would Mayor Sims and the chief see eye to eye on this fur clad felon? I had to find out. Does Breckenridge have much of a problem with traffic law abiding mammals? Uh, for the most part, I think everyone, they all abide by it. Um, this guy here had something different on his mind, looks like. Different and clearly dangerous. Those crosswalks are there for a reason. It's their, their protection, so they need to make sure they're using them. Why did the beaver cross the road? We may never know. But more importantly, could he ever be brought to justice? He's probably long gone anyway. The video that I watched was second hand, and so the, uh, you know, getting a good description on it it's going to be difficult. And so the case runs cold. Another cautionary tale from the crosswalk and a town left shocked and searching. <laughs> yeah, it was shocking. <laughs> it's something you don't see every day. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. <laughs> oh, Noah, oh, thank you. Didn't no. we need that? No. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Chief Kendrell says anyone who sees a beaver or other wild animals yeah. inside their city limits should call animal control if they feel the threat is posed. And while we may have had some fun with this story, animal handlings, that should be left to the professionals. Yeah, absolutely. And keep <laughs> them in the crosswalk. Chief, get on that, would you? Yeah. <laughs> David, can, can you help out the folks in Breckenridge? They need some help. <laughs> no? <laughs> Oh, I'm that, supposed that? to be the funny one. Oh, okay. Well, what's he doing taking my spotlight, man? No, Noah beat you tonight. Man, that's oh. good stuff. Uh, yeah.